How many eggs do you think we're gonna have? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Good morning, modern steaders. We come outside, go on the bus, and it smells like skunk. I hope we don't run into him out here. Do you want to run into him? No. No. It smells pretty strong. Like, he was probably here not that long ago. Phew. Whew. That skunk smell is so strong. It makes you kind of want to puke. Ugh. I'm hoping we got a main road. I don't know. 500, 600 feet from our house. Maybe a thousand. I'm hoping that somebody hit one out there. And that's why we're smelling it. I was kind of concerned at first that maybe they got in the goat pen. But I don't think they could get in there. That would be bad if the goats got sprayed and then I still had a milk willow. Whew. The skunks didn't get you, did it? Whew. Ready, Willow. Go for it. So yes, yesterday I uploaded a different video. I'll put a link to that video right here. It's drone footage of our area of this year's fall foliage. Olivia had the day off for Columbus Day, so me and her went on an excursion trying to find some awesome spots to go fly the drone and get some good shots of the foliage. Pig's like, what the heck guy? You usually feed us first. I know. Well, let's stay in. Phew, the skunk smells really bad right here. Yeah, down at the goat barn I wasn't smelling it, but man, wow. It's terrible right here. Ugh, I wonder where he sprayed. Man, that's bad. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out the new morning chore routine with the morning staying darker later. You ready to go out? Pew! I'm glad you didn't get into that skunk, Pluto. Somebody did. Whew. You ready for your breakfast? Huh, you ready? Sausage don't want the chickens near her food this morning. She's getting ornery. How are you guys doing? Looking good. One, two, three, four. Uh, can't see, you're blocking them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome, they're all still there. They have. They have upped their food consumption so much in the last three days. Normally I was only putting that much feed in there. Oops. 
couple of times a week. Right now, they're emptying that feeder at least once a day, if not twice. It's crazy how fast they started eating that much food. Man, it stinks really bad over here like skunk. I wonder if he got into the fence. Look at all those leaves. They're back. We just raked them all up the other day. Ah, I thought I left them in here. that warm up for a minute. I'm hoping it dried out enough in here to work. It still feels muddy, but the other day when we were cleaning up all the brush, I found a stump here, which that's a nice small one. It'll be easy to get out. And then I found a bigger one over here that was missed before. But this one definitely has to come out because it's a lot higher than the ground over here. And if I leave it, I'm sure I'll hit it a few times with the Kubota while I'm mowing. And that wouldn't be good. So we need to get that stump out. I bet you it's going to be a little bit of work.
this rock right here. It's so big. I got the back side dug out, hitting on the top side, and I can't even move it with the excavator. So I guess she's staying. That's crazy. That's one big rock. Boulder, I guess, is what we'd want to call it. That thing's got to be massive. That's where I'm gonna stop working on this area. It's still pretty wet. I think the next thing I need to do is put the York rake back on the Kubota once this area dries out and rake it out and then plant it. This is the next area I need to start on. Get this all cleaned up. And then it connects down here to this part of the pasture. Look at all the leaves. Pretty warm out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and I don't like it. You don't like it. Nope. Your pigs look so happy. Covered in mud. What do you want, mister? Turn the camera on, you stop making that noise. How many eggs do you think we're gonna have? You don't know. I wonder if I got that on camera. <laughs> well, that makes no sense. I know why I was smelling skunk now. We didn't even close the other side. But there's two skunks in the nesting box of New York City. So what I want to know is, how did they get in there? I locked that up at night. I have no idea. You're lucky we didn't get sprayed, huh? I know. Oh my goodness. I want, hopefully I got that on camera. I ain't going back in there to open that back up. <laughs> we didn't even watch the other side. No, but I'm trying to think of a way to... <sighs> Alright guys, this means war. We're going to get these buggers. They're in New York City. They can't invade New York City. No, we ain't having it. The worst part is... The front door closed somehow in New York City. So that ain't cool. So I gotta open up that door first. So I'm gonna try to put you from afar and let you see what happens. I hope I don't get sprayed, but I'm covered in a bunch of clothes and long sleeves. So if I do get sprayed, which I don't want to, so wish me luck. I was able to get the door to stay open a little bit. But I ain't staying that close for that long to latch it. So let's go on the back side. That's why the turkeys are acting all weird. They know there's something in New York City. Two skunks, guys. Not cool. He don't want to go nowhere. <sighs> I'll leave the nesting box open. Come back out later tonight and see what's going on. I was hoping once I did that, they'd run out. 
and I could shoot them as they were leaving. Didn't happen. Maybe the chickens will get them out. Or maybe the chickens won't stay in. I thought the chickens would flush them out. That didn't work either. They're still in there. I'll have to wait, come back tonight and see what happens. So do you remember the skunk smell this morning? It was in the chicken food. There was two of them in the chicken coop. When me and Olivia went to collect the eggs, we opened the nest box, and there's two skunks in there. So did you get sprayed? Did you get no, luckily we didn't get sprayed. But... Oh, were they in the nest box? Yeah. And the door was shut. All right, we're gonna go try to find the skunks again. We got our tactical pellet gun that I rigged up with my flashlight, and we're ready to do this. Not seeing any in New York City. Kind of nervous to check in there. Moose is inside with some of the ladies. All right, the door's still open. Going in. I don't see anything. They went for some of the eggs. That's what they do. Two eggs. Figaro. Well, the tactical pellet gun did its job. <sighs> Hope I don't gotta do that anytime soon. That was not fun. Never did I think I'd be clearing New York City with a tactical pellet gun of skunks. <sighs> don't look over there. It's the current day now. And I just wanted to say, I just got done editing the video you're watching right now. And that was such a fun video to edit. Well, that morning, we had no idea that there was chickens, or there was skunks in the chicken coop. Just crazy. So as I'm editing the video, knowing what we're about to run into, which is kind of humorous on my end, uh, me and Olivia are very thankful. Nobody got sprayed by a skunk. That would have been terrible. There's no holes anywhere in New York City for skunks to get into. The only thing I can think of is we went to our friend's house that night and we didn't get home till about eight o'clock so I didn't lock the chicken coop up till I'm gonna say 8 15 8 30 so I'm thinking they must have got in the chicken coop the night before and I must have locked them in there and they're they were juvenile skunks I'm thinking and I don't know if they could spray yet 
So I think that's why we're kind of lucky. But I'm wondering if the mama skunk sprayed. Or maybe they sprayed earlier. I don't know. But we were lucky. Nobody got sprayed. And that's the only reason, the only thing I can think of is how, that's the only way I can think they got in there. I don't know. But ah, that was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.